A weird thing I do is cut up straws. I have to cut up the straw before I can throw it away. I watched this video of this turtle. It had a straw stuck up its nose because people threw plastic straws away. And it freaking made me so mad. Poor freaking turtles and other animals who have to freaking deal with our trash. Go to the bathroom. Get orange kiddo now. That happened. When your vine game too strong. When you're too lazy to organize. Same. 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 I don't know, man. Bruh. Alright, let's start this video. Let me just go back a little bit here. So, today's video is. to read fanfics for you. Awkwardly filming in front of my window as per usual, I always do. I will be reading a Bob's Burgers fanfic. If you don't know what Bob's Burgers is, you should watch it because it's pretty freaking awesome. Here's a picture of the family. Let's, let's get into it. Chapter one, for what it's worth. Dear Bob, I am not a stalker. I got this address from the Yellow Pages. Hugo was a jerk to you, but to be fair, that is my fiancé, or he was. I'm second thinking the marriage thing. I'm not saying that I'm leaving him for you, but I am leaving him. Okay, maybe I am leaving him for you, but we can't see... Okay, this is stupid. I'll show you a picture of Hugo. I'd leave him too. For Bob. Picture. We're, we need to get into some weird stuff. Googling best dirty fan fiction. Let's do this. <laughs> One Direction Dirty Fanfics. Read it all. Read it all. Okay, so I'm going to start out with the Harry Imagine because he is my favorite winky face. Thanks for reading. Here you go. Night at the bar. Your name. Hurry up. Okay, so I'm not going to use my name because awkward. I'm going to use the name. How about Olga? Olga, hurry up! You hear your best friend Elle scream at you. You guys were heading off to the club tonight, but not before applying a second layer of mascara. <laughs> the Maybelline rocket kind, black is black. What the hell, why do we care? Yeah, I'm kind of a mascara freak, but who isn't? Not me. Later at the club, I'm sitting at the bar waiting for my drink, and I still haven't seen a single guy tonight that I would even consider. I lost Elle on the dance floor, probably dancing with that blondie from earlier tonight. Suddenly I saw him, the sexiest guy in the club, maybe even in the world. Uh, oh my god, same. Who do you think it is? John C <laughs> I stood there, lips parted and eyes glued to his beautiful green ones. He moved his, fig his figure towards me. Damn, he was fit. <laughs> I lifted my drink to my lips and took a sip. Still looking at him, I suddenly remembered how to, f how to reel a guy in without looking like a dork. I glanced back at the bartender and quickly started a flirty conversation with him, making sure Curly was right behind. When the bartender asked my number, the sexy stranger quickly stepped in between us and looked... The guy's straight in the eye. Back off, dick. She's mine. Hey, sorry, man. I didn't know. <laughs> Replied the bartender, obviously scared by the man's tall, built frame. The bar bartender quickly walked away, giving Curly the advantage to size me up. You're going home with me tonight, babe. <laughs> Smooth. He said smoothly. Well, well, I knew. Eyeing me up and down. I bit my lip and agreed. He quickly grabbed my arm and guided me out the door and into the dark, cold night. Once we reached the door, we went inside, and he swiftly lifted my body in the air, only to throw it roughly onto the bed, but Harry was careful not to hurt me. He crawled on top of me and planted several kisses on my neck, trailing up to my lips. This started an intense makeout session. His tongue, exploring my mouth, 
and be tugging on his bottom lip, causing him to moan. And tugging on his bottom lip, which caused him to moan. Having fun, Mr. Styles? What the hell is this? He just smirked back at me and moved his hands underneath my dress while attaching his lips to the side of my neck. Gently sucking. His long fingers trailed up my th long. Why would you say long fingers? They trailed up my thigh and rested just above my panty line. Panty line. I moaned a little and bucked my hips up towards his fingers. Finger hurts. I don't know why I started there. Fingers eager to feel them inside of me. <laughs> eager to feel them inside of me. Harry chuckled his deep voice and whispered in my ear, Somebody is a bit eager, isn't she? Oh, shut up, Harry, and get in me now. He then slid his hands behind my back to unzip my skin-tight dress, and I stood up while I could slip to the floor, exposing my black lace bra and matching panties. Panties. This is stupid. But I'm still doing it. All right, let's skip down a bit here. Shit, Olga, stop teasing. Bad girls get punished. I smirked and did as told, knowing Harry would punish me anyways, and that would be fun. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh my god. Okay. Dammy was good at this. <laughs> Harry, I'm g g gonna c c c come. <laughs> I moaned. Me too, babe. On the count of three, he replied. No one counts it down. Are you kidding me? He thrust it into me once, one, and again, two, and again, three, with the one last thrust. My walls closed on him and he came on each other. We came on each other. Oh God, Olga, that was amazing. We have to do this again. He said with a smirk, we just, you just nodded and you fell asleep in his grasp. He had chill out, for real. We're gonna read one more. All right, we're gonna read a JC one. JC Callan, dirty fanfic. Seven part story. It says warning dirty, this is hilarious already. Approved. A night to be remembered. You and JC have been dating for three years and tomorrow was your anniversary. You love JC so much and of course he has tried to do it with you but at the time you weren't ready <laughs> but now you were ready you wanted him to be the one and only your plan was to sleep off the night then tomorrow night you were gonna give him a night to, to remembered <laughs> morning i woke up next to jc with his arms wrapped around my waist i slowly turned over to be looking at his face he was still sleeping i slowly brushed my hands through his hair he looked so cute when he was sleeping i pecked his lips he then slowly started to wake up hey princess you sleep well Ugh, that morning voice is to die for. Yeah, also happy anniversary, babe. He smiled. I love you so much, Serena. You have no idea. He's so sweet. I can't wait to give him his gift. Later that night, I needed to take a shower, and also that's when my plan was going to start. JC was downstairs. JC, I yelled from the bathroom. What? By the way, there is two floors, and the bedroom is connected to the bedroom we shared. I love how it had to, like, tell you. Come here. I heard him coming up the stairs. I went behind the door and waited. Uh, Serena, where are you? I'm in the bathroom. I heard him step into the bedroom. Uh, what do you need? He said behind the door, separating us. Come in here. I have to. Su I have a surprise for you. When JC stepped in, I covered his eyes behind him. Serena, what do you need? I could tell he was nervous. JC. Wait, that's not how she would say it. JC. Yeah. I sighed. Babe, remember long ago when you asked if I was ready? I, uh, um... Yeah, I'm ready, babe. I said, I'm covering JC's eyes, and he turned around. Whoa, babe, his, he said, with his eyes wide open and his jaw dropping a bit. I was only in my bra and underwear. Babe, are you sure about this? I nodded. Because if you aren't ready, that's fine. No, I want this to happen. Okay, he said, and smiled before anything else. I felt JC's slip, slips planted on mine. His slips. 
We pushed out of the bathroom to the bedroom. Next thing I knew, we were on the bed, and, the, and that passionate kiss soon turned extreme. JC kissed you along your jawline. Okay, I'm super bored. We're going to go down here. JC, your pants. He smirked. He started to unbuckle his belt. He then pulled his pants off, and you can see his mem his member in his boxers growing. If you have sex, um, I wouldn't yell and point at him. Your pants! How is that attractive? I don't understand. He started to kiss you again, extremely, while making your nipples harden. You felt JC's member. I love how we call it a member. This is a member. Member. You couldn't take it anymore. You wanted JC more than ever now. JC, your boxers. He smirked and slipped them off. Okay. So, this girl is trying to be attractive, I'm sure. I'm sure she's just trying to be sexy, but here's the thing. Your pants! I see! Your boxers! What is that? I just don't get it. Your turn. JC went between your legs and slipped your underwear off. Now both of you are naked in bed. Babe, this might hurt a bit. Why am I reading this? Oh my god! You nodded, then JC stuck one finger in you. JC, you groaned. Yeah, babe. I want you now, you said. Okay, babe, but remember, it's gonna hurt in the beginning, but soon you're gonna love it. Don't worry. It's never supposed to hurt. Um, it'll be uncomfortable, but it's not supposed to hurt. So, yeah, if it starts to hurt, you just need to chill a little bit. If you're in that sort of thing, you do. Oh my god, this is hilarious. She starts crying. She cries because it hurts so much. You can tell he was trying his best not to thrust into you and hurt you. JC was right, though. It did hurt, but now all you wanted was JC to go. JC, go! He looked straight in your eyes. You sure? Yes, JC! With that said, JC started to thrust and follow with that the mo just... Okay, we're gonna stop there. We're done. We're done. Okay, this girl, she goes... Your pants! Your boxers! JC, go! He's not a freaking Power Ranger. What are you doing? Oh my god. Okay, so that was me reading two dirty fanfics. Um Okay, we're done now.